Chinese man in lockdown posted about starving for 10 days. Now he's been jailed for 10 days. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. Tonghua City, China. A small city you've probably never heard of in China's northeastern Jilin province. And by small city, I mean it has 2.3 million people. Tonghua is part of China's Rust Belt. Basically, it's China's Detroit, but even worse. And with three times as many people. And thanks to the coronavirus, aka the CCP virus, things there are going badly. Like, starvation level badly. The city has been under lockdown since mid-January. And not like, oh no, we can't go to the gym kind of lockdown. Like, stay in your apartment, don't go outside under any circumstances kind of lockdown. In January, after 49 residents tested positive for COVID, a downtown section of the city became the most locked down place in China. City officials taped apartment doors shut in entire housing complexes practically overnight. Here's part of what one resident who goes by Mr. Liu posted on the social media platform Toutiao. I've starved for nearly 10 days. Luckily, a kind person had shared some food with me, but that was three days ago. The whole city has been restricted from leaving without any prior notice. My building's been quarantined for 10 days with no food, nothing. I support the country. I support the government. But please, hurry and provide emergency relief. Truly, too many people are starving. I'm nearly starved to death. I'm not exaggerating. They only care to protect their officials, but don't even care to provide food for the sake of their public image. I hope this post can reach the attention of the country leadership. Thank you, everyone. I take full responsibility for my words. The Public Security Bureau in Tonghua City responded by posting a screenshot of that social media post with the word FAKE stamped across it. And then, to help Mr. Liu, who's been starving for 10 days, they put him in jail for 10 days. Why? Well, according to the police, he was lying. Liu was lying for attention and views, knowing that he had food at home and had received living supplies from the community grid staff. But he fabricated false facts, such as, I was hungry for almost 10 days. Liu's behavior has constituted slander and disturbing the peace. As a penalty, Liu has been detained for 10 days and fined 500 yuan, which is about 80 US dollars. Hey, at least when you're in jail, they feed you. Maybe. But Mr. Leo's post was not unique. He's one of literally thousands of people who complained on social media that they were running out of food and medicine. One resident wrote, The true situation is my children are there and are about to run out of food. Many food delivery apps won't deliver for two or three days. There's panic because of the lack of supplies. There's a severe shortage of medical workers. We can't hold on much longer. No one will pick up our calls. Which department could we call for help? I asked the national government for emergency assistance. And this person says, everyone, please pay attention to Tonghua City's lockdown. One, there are over 200 confirmed cases. Two, necessary goods are in extremely short supply. Three, medical workers are overloaded and short-staffed. Four, the lockdown has caused many people to not have enough food. Five, there's been no response to people's problems. Six, the country and society are not paying attention. And then there's this hopeful post. I hope this comment section doesn't get blocked so that netizens can hear the voices from Tonghua City and check whether these policies are being implemented. Well, the comment section did get blocked. So you see, Mr. Liu's so-called fabricated false facts may not be so fabricated. 
Tonghua City is going through a sudden and severe lockdown. There's just very little media coverage. And we know how bad it is because the mayor of Tonghua actually made a public apology for the abrupt lockdown and failure to give citizens enough warning. And it's not often you see a Chinese government official apologizing. And even Chinese state-run media have started publishing articles to cover their butts. Like this one about how the government is planning to provide daily necessities to 110,000 families amid criticism of sluggish supplies delivery. But at least people there can finally get some real... Ugh, vegetables? Give me a break! And anyway, state-run media's claims might not even be true. Shocker, I know. Here's a video of a resident on the fourth floor of an apartment sharing supplies with the resident two stories up, which you probably wouldn't need if the government were actually delivering all the food they promised. The local public security bureau may not be doing a good job providing food, but they are at least good at punishing people for spreading information. To scare other people from complaining online, they released a video of Mr. Liu's apology, where he admitted to illegally spreading rumors. Well, that's a pretty vague apology. Maybe because he doesn't even know what he's apologizing for. His social media post was merely a last resort after being ignored by the authorities, despite his post saying, I support the country, I support the government. But in communist China, even if you support the government, that doesn't mean the government will support you. And now, it's time for me to answer a question from a viewer who supports China Uncensored on Patreon. Joshua Weiss asks, Chris, in your recent video about Xi Jinping's daughter, you said to stop giving the CCP money through investments and buying Chinese products. Do you think we should also avoid tourist travel as well? Yes. Stop traveling to mainland China. I don't know why anyone would travel there now, given that they can arbitrarily detain people. But even outside that, if you visit China, everything you buy, all the money you spend on train tickets and tourist attractions, a part of that is going to support the Chinese Communist Party. The Chinese Communist Party is committing genocide. And genocide ain't cheap. If you like Chinese culture, may I suggest you visit the vibrant, friendly, democratic country of Taiwan, which is also full of delicious night markets. You know, after we can all travel again. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for your question, Joshua. Be like Joshua and go join us on patreon.com slash China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.